going wide. Hang on. Okay. Now, you see what I'm doing here? Look. Okay. Are you watching here, Limpy? Yes, sir. Okay. You don't fuck around. You don't dick off. You be a good camera guy, bud. Nice and easy movement. See how I'm moving here? Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We got us a bonus pack week then this weekend. We're doing a live video right here. Look. Already got. All right. How you doing out there, Joe? Thanks for joining in. What we're doing today, we're doing some body work on the old Honda. We got a situation right here. Okay, I'm going to shut that door. I'm going to show everybody what's going on. This door was wrecked. This door was fucked up. It was wrecked hard. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened to this situation, but what happened, it crushed this door. And you can already see where I built up the Bondo right here. I've already built that up with Bondo because this door was pushed in, and we already pulled it out as far as we're going to get it. You understand what I'm saying, Limpy? Yes, sir. Remember, we hammered and dollied that out. We pulled it out the best we could. The problem you have, you can't pull a lot. You're going to stretch the metal, you're going to rip the metal, and you'll That's bust right. it. That's right. You can only go so far. So the owner of the car had some kind of bullshit action going on here, got in a wreck. I don't know what the fuck happened. But what happened is this quarter panel was crushed in. We pulled it out once again. That's the third, fourth, seventh time I said it. I repeat myself. And that's the way it goes. My friend Pete repeats himself so you, the guy, can learn what's going on. Now what you got here, we got some tape on this door jam. All right, I put tape on there, and the reason why, do you know, can you answer that, Limp? So you, so, you, so you don't scratch it and you got a guide? No. Why? Because Bondo will not stick to tape. Okay. Okay? Okay. Let's get it all together here, <laughs> Limpy guy. And you want to be the fucking camera guy today? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'll be a camera Okay, guy. what are you sitting on there, bud? What's that for? Just tell everybody what you got. What is that? That's a knee walker. Okay, maybe what you better do is tie that shit before you trip on it there, clown 817, fuck guy, seven guy. There you go. So what's going on with that? What, what are you doing with your, uh, your, your knee walker? Show everybody how it works. What do you do? Talk to us first, bud. Well, uh, got an accident. Hurt my foot. I'm up here, dude. I can't hear you. This is... <laughs> go ahead. I got an accident. I hurt my foot. Doctor told motorcycle me, wreck. Motorcycle. Chopper? Yes. A Harley Chopper? What, what What were you riding? A piece of shit Honda. Okay, you had a Honda, you're riding your chopper down the road, someone bashed into you, you fucked your leg up, so now you're permanently injured for life. What? What's this for, dude? This is for helping me get around when it starts hurting. Okay, show, give us a little example of what we got here, because it looks kind of like a little clown ride to me, bud. There you go. All right, Limpy the Clown. There you go. Come on, bring your clown card over here. There you go, bud. Okay. So you use that out in the, you use that out in public? Yes. Yeah, when you're yeah. doing like long ventures through Walmart yeah. or out, out at the flea market yeah. picking and, 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 and buying shit. Yeah. Okay, but all right, so I'm going to let you be the camera guy. You see how I'm holding that? I'm yes, holding sir. it on this end over here. So you don't put your Over here. Yeah, you don't want Okay, to. we don't want it. You want to read some, uh, okay? Okay, you want to read the comments? That's fine. I don't give a shit, but don't fucking take over. Okay. You're temporary, because many of the body shop girls, the camera girl on this, she's not here today. Let's she's get some shit done. Let's do it right. Okay. Okay, where's the camera at? Over here? Okay. Yeah, it's in your Hold face. it on this side, dude. Okay. Get your hand off. Now, don't be going like this and all this shit, okay? Okay. Back it up, bud. You're going to hit my hose. Get the hose out of the way so we can show people what's going on. All right, now, remember what I told you before we went on? You follow my hands. That's the best way. See, I'm over here, down here. I didn't say do this, dude. Easy. Up here, over here. This is why we're working today. Uh, the reason I wanted to get on here on live action, because I don't really have time to make a video of it, and I wanted to make a video of it, and I just got done making a video set on a Mini Cooper. Check that out. And it's basically the same thing we're doing here, except this is a Honda. Now, what I'm doing here is if Limpy can bring the camera over, you can kind of get an action here what's going on. Now, the Bondo isn't this thick right here. It's possibly maybe this thick right here. Do you see where I cleaned that groove out? That's how thick our Bondo is already, so that's how much that it was pushed in. This is actually a dent like this right here. It goes in. All right, so I filled this in first, and then what I did, back it up a little, bro. Back, there you go, bud, okay. Then what I did is I shut the door all right, and I put some tape on it. I'm gonna show everybody this, real important. This is a real good tech tip for everybody. All right, I put some tape on it right here, and then I went ahead and I squeezed my Bondo in there, and we're gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how it's done. And what the tape is for is you don't want the Bondo to stick on that. 
So Bondo will not stick to tape, all right? Because it's, uh, you know, a tape thing. Where's my tape at, by the way? Where'd it go? Here it is. He said so, that's a lot of Bondo. That's a lot of Bondo. Mm -hmm. But when you come to this type of situation, you're looking at a lot of Bondo there. There's not really a lot of Bondo there. Okay, buddy? Okay. Whoever the fuck that was. Who was that? No, I didn't. Who tell was you. it, bud? Couldn't tell you. So the guy's already slandering me, and I ain't even fucking did anything here. That's right. I'm the bad guy. Is that what he's saying? I, go, I don't Is know. He, did the guy say I'm a bad guy? I'm, <laughs> I'm a Bondo buggy? Uh, he didn't I'm say that. I'm not pulling my dents out before I put Bondo on. Is he, that what you're saying? He, he just said it's a lot of Bondo. Okay. It's a lot of Bondo work. And we pulled the dance out. Okay, let me explain something to everybody out there. What you're looking at right here, that is not a lot of Bondo. That Bondo that you're looking at is as thick as that fucking tape. All right, when you do body work professionally, okay, come on over here. We got a little special treat. Follow me, Limpy. Come on over here, Steve. What's your name, buddy? Huh? What's your name? We're on, we're on DIY high school today, bud. Turn around. Steve. Young. Turn around, bud. You're back, lit. Come on over here, Steve. There you go. Over here. Come on. There okay, we got a special guest. His name's Steed, and he's over at Dustless Blasting. Now, what this guy does, go ahead and tell him real quick because we're live here, guy. Okay. Well, what I do you got to talk loud, Steve. Uh, we're on the iPhone. Okay. I got a, a Dustless Blasting mobile rig. It's wet blasting as opposed to dry blasting. And I strip paint from Bondo and Rust from cars. So we're doing some special cars today, right? Yes, we are. We got a big video set coming out on your shit. Right now, we're talking about Bondo today, bud. I'm sorry. Oh. But let's show him what he did here. Now, we're working on our, up here, bud, please. Limpy. Well, you said follow hands. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you follow this? Yeah. Uh, can you follow that? I got okay, you. Okay, bud. All right. What we're doing is we got a, a 67 Camaro and a 65 Mustang. We're going to do a bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, double whammy job. We're going to do both these cards at the same time. And Steve's over here. We're going to show you his blaster system in it. And he's blasting both these cars today. Now this is what we got down here. Go ahead and tell them about it, Steve. You All gotta right. talk loud, bud. What do you want me to tell right them? Right here. Go ahead and talk. Tell them what's going on, Steve. All right, these parts all here were heavy with paint and corrosion and sun, a little bit of Bondo, but it's all been stripped to bare white metal. And also I put a coating of rust in the on here so they don't flash rust. Now you so, said these panels are ready. You don't have to sand them, you don't have to do shit. You can go ahead and put primer straight on your stuff. That's right, we call it surface prep. The roughness of the surface is, uh -huh. just, is just perfect to, right. for primer to stick to. Okay, so how long does this last before it really starts rusting out? Guaranteed 72 hours if it doesn't get wet. Guaranteed 72 up here, hours. Up here. If 72 hours if it doesn't get wet. Okay, so this really isn't like hand stripping it. This is more like a sandblasting, but it's a wet sandblasting style right. situation. Exactly. And what that does, if I can explain it because we're in a hurry, is that creates a system where it won't warp the metal because you're not getting it hot with heat. Right, exactly. Come on outside, bud. Over here, buddy. Okay, so here's the system right here. I'm gonna kind of holler. This is a dustless blaster system. I'm over here, my fucking, my hand, guy. So this is a system, it's a portable system right here. Come on over here. And can you give us an example or? Yeah, this Show us, get a piece over here. Let's see what you got, buddy. Okay. Uh, he just got done blasting this piece here. It took him about, what, 10 minutes? Yes. And let's look at it. Come on. Okay. Uh, you can see he did it inside and out. Look how clean this is. Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful job going on here. Um, there you go. This fender's done, I guess. Yeah, done. Okay, let's get that out of the way. If you can blast that, we're going to get you blasting that, Steve, and see what all this wet, wet shit's going on here. And hopefully it's going to... It smells like a pig farm over here. This stuff stinks. Just to let you know, Blakey. 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 Okay, get over. Don't let him get my... over there, bud. Back it up. Don't get that shit on my phone. So what we got here, this is your bona fide 100% uh, wet, blast, water shit going on that you see on YouTube. And it works really, really well. Uh, the guy knows his shit. 
and it basically works on any surface. He said he's only using 100 PSI, 100 PSI to do this with, but by looking at that, just strips it off, and yeah, it does an awesome job. Okay, Steve, we'll get back with you later, bro. All right, thank you. Good job. How can, now, people in DFW areas, that's your number? Yeah. Okay, let's give this guy a call. He's working his ass off. Look at this son of a bitch. Look at him. It smells like a pigsty, Steve. What the, what's that smell? Uh, it smells like a pig. Yes, but it's a clean pig. A pig with no paint and rust. There you go. Let's show him what we're doing over here. Come on over here. So this is what he's starting with right here. You can see how nasty it is. Um, and then you saw what he did so very very good stuff doing an awesome job. Come on over here limpy All right, Steve. We'll talk to you later, bud. All right, All right. Okay, let's get these lights. They're already on so here's our uh, Camaro from hell all the way out in the UK We got it ready to strip down. I think we went over this last night, right? Yes, we did then let's get back to the lesson bitch <laughs> Okay, Son of a bitch. follow me follow you I hope that camera ain't down here. No, it's not. Okay. Buford. It's my, my baby. Volkswagen. And it's going to be mine. All right. So, uh, you see, it's a really busy day over here at SWRC today. We got that out there. We got this in here. Uh, we worked till what, 11 o'clock last night? Yes, sir. Okay, so we worked till 11 last night, getting them all prepped. Um, anyway, back to the lesson here. If you want to go ahead and double that up with tape, make sure you get your inside. Now, this is good for new or used cars, all right, not just classic cars. You saw the video said, if you haven't, it's the Mini Cooper, and you'll see how I did that, basically the same way. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my knife right here. If you can come closer. We had some kind of problem going here, so I'm going to clean that out. All right, I want to make sure that whatever's in there, all right, because we don't want no air pockets in it. You got to make sure everything's cleaned out properly. All right. And another reason I'm doing this, I'm making sure that that Bondo, because there's actually two different layers here. I want to make sure that Bondo's on there right. We got any comments coming our way, Limpy, or nobody's talking? Where the hell's everybody at, bud? We usually have a lot of people what asking questions. That's what they're saying. What the fuck? That's great. Okay, that's all. Looks like it's saves some time. They're doing, they're doing that because Minnie's Body Shop Girl ain't here. Really? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to talk to you, Lippy. They don't I'm want sorry, to see my ugly ass. I'm yours sorry. neither. Okay, another thing you want to really pay attention to, I'm up here, bud. Okay, is when you're working on a car like this and it's 110 degrees and humid out, be very careful getting your sweat and your hands all over the metal. That's dangerous. So let's mix some Bondo up. I want to show you how this is done. Uh, come on over here, Limpy. All right, always remember when you're a camera guy, backlighting. Yes, I know. I okay, well, I was over there, and I was, you see what I mean? Yeah. Come on closer, bud, because we don't have zoom, so you got to kind of walk into it, okay? Okay. Now I'm down here. Okay, so we got our Bondo palette. What we're going to do, we're going to get some Bondo. We're going to mix that baby up. Another thing about this type of situation over here, don't go fast, Limpy. Okay. Another thing about a situation, you do not want to use Dynaglass on this. Dynaglass is a no-no on this type of a repair. Dynaglass is for something like this that's a very big dent that you want to fill in. This here requires Bondo only. Alright, so we want to get our Bondo just like this. You see what I'm doing here? Yes, sir. Alright, that's probably more than enough because we're just going to do this. We're not going to do the whole quarter panel. This is just about that opening. Now, you want to make sure when you use your hardener, what? You, you, you massage the hardener. Massage and knead it up real good. You need to talk loud. Remember, we're using Yes, sir. A, okay. So we get our hardener. You want to use compatible hardener. Can you see me? What the fuck, Limpy? Well, I'm not as tall as you are, bro. Okay, you need to use the uh, uh, hardener compatible to the weather that you're working in. So if you're working in cold weather, use less hardener. If you're in hot weather, use, no, you use more hardener in cold weather, less hardener in hot. Okay, so we're going to get our hardener on here just like that. And then we're going to take a nice clean, what? Bondo paddle. Okay, now you can come down here. Okay. okay. We're going to mix our Bondo up, and in this type of weather, you really got to be fast with this. 
Uh, do you know where my utility knife is by any chance? I thought I had it over. Okay, we'll use this today. Don't worry about it. That's got a big door gap. Okay, so you want to mix your bondo up. You want to be very quick and very sufficient. And you want to make sure that it's a, a nice, even, compounded mix. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm rolling and tucking. See? Kneading it. Roll, tuck. Roll, tuck. Roll, tuck. Do you Roll, see that? tuck. Okay? And what that does, that mixes it up and it takes all the air bubbles out while you're mixing it. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Okay. So now we got that going. What we're going to do is we're going to clean our pallet off. Come on over here now. Right here, bud. Sit down on your little wheelie there. Okay, make sure you get this because this is a trick. We're going to take our bondo and we're going to go straight down. Look how I'm pushing that in there. I don't give a fuck about the inside. All I care about is the outside of it. And then he's cupping the paddle. We got a problem right here, see? So I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to show you the other side of it in a minute. Okay, I'm going to show you that. Now I'm going to lightly push it. See how I'm doing that? I'm just lightly pushing on it. I'm going to bring it way out here. I'm going to start feathering it out. All right? For some oddball reason, this thing got hit way up here. I don't know why. I'm going to show you this in a second on the other door. I want to push that in. I'm pushing it in, see? All right, you see how I'm, I'm staying on the tape. I'm not going on the metal on the other one. See what I'm saying? We don't care what it looks like. All we care about is getting that first coat on there and getting it done right. That's what our sanders are for. We got a nice, thick, juicy action going on. All right, this is our problem child right here in this area right now. So we want to get that baby going slick. Okay, just like that. All right. If you get any on your door, who gives a shit? You can wipe it off. Okay. All right, so there you go right there. All right, just like that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to clean our pallet because Limpy doesn't know how to do this. All right, you see what I'm doing there, Limp? Smoothing it out. And then I'm going to set it right on the edge. And we're going to let that dry and we'll be able to use it again, see? Okay? Yes. Now, let me ask you a question. What's that, Pete? Let's go over to the other side of the car. We're going to show them what it's supposed to look like and what we're trying to create. Okay. Head on over there. I'm right behind you. Right here, bud. So I want everybody to take a look at this. Come on over here, bud. Right here. I want everybody to take a look at it. See how flat that is? That's nice and flat. But it also has a little bit of an indent right there. You can feel that as it goes up like that. So the one on the other side was crushed in right here in this area. So what we did is we went ahead and pulled all that out. And now what we're doing, we're creating this little corner right here that was crushed in. And then when we get done, it's going to look like this, okay? So it's got this like, you know, little thing here. But that's what you got to do when you do this body work. You got to go back and forth, back and forth. Because always remember when you're doing body work on a car, what is it? Well, uh, it, you're running low on battery. Are we on low on battery? All right, come on over here, bud. Look, I got one right here if you need one. Well, get that bitch. Get in. Run in there and get my, go get my iPhone cord. Hurry up. All right. Run in there. Get my iPhone cord, limp. On, the, on my computer, that white iPhone. Hurry. Son of a bitch. Okay, uh, Limpy's a hell of a nice guy. So everybody, I want everybody to give him a break. He's learning. He's getting it done and hopefully going to do it right. Where did my knife go? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so what we got here is um, the bond is still wet. So let's go out there and see what Steve's doing while we're waiting on that to get tacky because we want to be able to cut that. But um, check out, this is that washless blasting system and it really, really works pretty nice. There you go, bud. Come on over. Oh, you got mine? Mm -hmm. All right, plug mine in. All right, put that in your pocket for now. I will. Okay. Well, give me the damn Let's thing. get hooked up, bud. We don't want to. Okay, this is a this is a special uh, anniversary. This is a special edition here. We don't want to lose our. Okay, there we go. Okay, is it on? Okay, it should be charging, bud. All right, hopefully we're charging. If we lose everybody out there, I'm sorry. I did the best I can, and uh, you know that's life. Okay, so um, what's Steve doing out here while Rabondo's tacking up? What's he got going? Okay, he's finishing up on our rear Mustang panel. So look at the mess this makes. This is what, uh, I hope he can clean this up because this is fucking crazy here. He said we can clean it up and won't take long, so I hope so. Looks like he's gonna blast that baby out. There you go.
Okay. All right, let's let him work. We can't, we can't bother him because this takes a long time and look what time it is already. He's actually been here since 10 o'clock. So, you know, we got to get him out of the shop here. I'd like, I'd like to go home someday. How's that? Is it tacking up, bud? Yeah. Okay, so it's tacked up. What we want to do is we want to take our knife and we find our door jam and then we're going to cut it at the angle of the door. So we know this one here is at an angle and we want to just keep going down like that, see? Now, if uh, Limpy can go ahead and open that door, I'd appreciate it. There you go. All right. So you can see how uh, we built that up right there. Look at that. I want everybody to look at that. And then we're going to let that dry for a few more minutes. What the fuck, Limpy? Don't eat Bondo. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come back with our cheese grater. Now, using a cheese grater on this is, is not an easy chore. Let me get my battery out. I'm going to let Limpy be the camera guy. Put that in your pocket. Okay. Okay, you got everything there? Yeah. All right, dude. You did a good job, Limp Limpy. Keep it up, bud. Okay. Keep it up, bro. Come on over here. So you get your choice of cheese graters that you want. Now, the one probably for this is the little one here. Uh, you can pick these up over at your local uh, corporate uh, hardware store that put everybody out of business and fucked everybody in the, yeah, that way. And, uh, you know, they sell the blades and everything. So we're going to use this one right here. And then... Okay, dude, are you going to give me some room to fucking move here, guy? Why are you always hollering at me, Pete? Because you're in the way all the time, bitch. <laughs> all right, now sit down on your little... You got some backlight. Get over here, bro. Sit on your little clown car there. Okay, we got backlight going now. No, we don't. Okay? No, we don't. All right, so you want to wait until that's a little bit tacky. How we going, Steve? We're doing good. We're doing all right, bro? Yeah, doing good. Okay, buddy. Looking good. Keep up the good work, bro. We got your number on there. Knock down another one. People, people will be calling you, bud. Okay, so now you want to take your cheese grater and you very lightly, okay? I'm not pushing on that. I'm letting the tool do the work, all right? I'm letting the tool do the work. I'm not working it. Um, it's still a little soft, so I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it. Do you know why? Let because me, it'll gouge, gouge it'll, in it. It'll grab that Bondo, and what if you, if you do it too soon, It'll grab that bondo and rip the bondo off the metal and put air holes inside. So you want to be really careful when you're doing this. Now, yes. remember I told you it had that swoop right there? Remember that? Yes. Okay, watch this, dude. I'm going to go ahead and take this, all right? And now watch what I'm going to do. Let me show you, bud. All right? The man, the magician man's going to show you, bud. What we're going to do is we're going to get this one out. You see that? It's a rounded file. Okay. Because we got just a slight curve right there, see? Right. And that's the trick of being a body man, is knowing how to use your tools and where to use them at the right time that you need to use them. Okay, now I'm barely doing that. You can see it's working great. And I'm going to go up like this. I'm bringing it up, and I'm rolling that. Okay? So I don't want to go too much. So what I'll do is I'll take this, and then we're going to find our round spot there, and we're going to just lightly do that. See? See what I just did there? Get a little closer so people can see that. See that little round section I just put in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what that did, that, that shows me the line where I want to do it. So now I'll get over here and I'll really start molding it down. And I'm just being real easy and I'm feathering it out. That's how you want it. You want to feather that out. And then I'm going to come up here. And then we also got a little body line right here. We're going to go ahead and get that. See? Maybe. See how I'm cutting that right there? Okay. See there, dude? All right, and then we're going to go ahead and clean this off. And I'm very lightly doing this. I'm not doing this hard. And just, just I'm dragging it. I'm, no, I'm not even. I'm just letting the tool do the work. Okay, kind of like, what is that? Bob Beeler. What's his name? Yeah, yeah Bob Villa. No, not Bob Beeler. Uh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. You know, I'm the, I'm the Bob Ross of uh, fucking Peyton Body over here. The only difference to me, I say cocksucker a lot. Okay? <laughs> you know, but you just got to take it easy. You don't want to overwork it. You don't want to push it too hard and pull that bondo off. All right. And now what we got, look there, dude. See, I got rid of that line. Okay. We got just a little bit. We got to get right here. And what this is going to do by using your cheese grater and learning how to use that cheese grater, it's going to save you a lot of money. And, and do you know where it's going to save a lot of money and time? Sandpaper. Sandpaper is very, very expensive. So you get to know how to use this little tool right here. And look, we got another body line. Lippy. So what am I doing there? I'm squaring that body line out, you see? Yeah. See how I'm doing that? Uh -huh. Look, it's already done. It's a done deal. Okay? 
All right, look in here, bud. See how I just blended that into this bondo here? Yeah. It's all feathered in. All right. Now watch what I do here, bud. I'm going to leave those right there because look what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this bondo off because what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Hello. Told me bondo don't stick to tape. That's right. It didn't stick. Okay. We got the tape there. We don't have to clean the door because guess what we got to do? Watch this shit. Watch how easy that bondo cleans off. Bam, bitch. Look at there, bud. Clean right. as a whistle. We didn't have to do anything but pull the bondo. We got a little bit of bondo here. So what? We can take our DA, but we didn't get our body. You see what I'm saying? So didn't, what, didn't is make that, what does that tell you, Limpy? What does that tell you? It tells me that it's better to take the crap off so you don't have to... No, I'm going to tell you what it tells you, bud. Listen close. I want everybody to listen. Your tape is a tool. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Tape is a tool in a body shop. Tape is good for a lot. What did I do over here with my tape? Can you tell everybody what I did? You put it. You put a tape all over here of where the body line was right here. That's right. So you say, so, and then and that way when you sand it, it doesn't sand down. It holds your body line in that place. That holds your body line by using your tape. See? As a guide. All right. When I rough that bondo in, I went like this on it to get my nice straight line. And if you look real close, you can see where that line penetrates into that. So that's telling me that I got to sand this down at this angle. Are you going to use your fingers? Right. So tape is very important. Now, before our bondo dries, what we want to do, and I know there's a lot of guys out there that don't have uh, air tools, but we're going to go ahead and use air tools today. And if you don't have air tools like uh, Limpy, he's got a couple air tools. He just ordered some. What you want to do is you want to get your uh, block sander or air file. And while it's still kind of wet, all right, you want to air file that down with the door shut. What's that going to do, Limpy? <coughs> It's going to give you the same level. All right, look at this level right here. See how this is higher than the door? Come over here on this side. See how that level, see how, now watch what I do here. Back it up a little bit. Now watch what I do, okay? Yeah, come on over there. All right, now watch what I do with my air file. Now remember, the Bondo's still a little tacky. I'm not waiting for it to dry. Okay. But yet, on the other hand, I'm not doing it where I'm feathering it all out. I'm just breaking it down to where I want it. See how you can tell you're hitting the door where it's shiny? Mm -hmm. That's what you want. Now look at that right there. All right? You see what I'm saying? See how I'm working on my body line there? Okay, now we're going to open that door back up because watch what the problem is now. Okay, now what we got to do is we got to get this back in line how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to take my air file. Yes, it is easier to sand when it's tacky. Okay, now watch what happens if you stand over there. Okay, watch this. All right. All right. That's telling me what? That's telling me that the gap ain't right, so what am I going to do now? Do you know? You're going to go in there and you're going to follow that gap? No, down. I'm not. You're not? I'm going to get my special tool out. Okay? We see that the gap looks really good right here, right? Mm -hmm. But it's tied up here, so what's that telling me? We're going to take our tape like this. You see what I'm doing? I'm going to come down here. All right, I'm going to come down here. That ain't working right. Let's go up with it, okay? We're going to take our tape. We're going to go just like this. We're going to come around, and I'm going to create myself a line, a guideline that I can use on this, see? You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to open the door back up. All right, and this is where we need, uh, we need a block. You got a block, Limpy? Give me that little block of yours with a piece. Yeah, I'll bring it over here. No, your little block. Go get your little block. Your little Dura block. Let me have it. I don't know where that's at, Pete. You're going to have to get yours. Let me get mine, dude. Get yours. I thought you had all your own tools, bro. Well, ADD, they're kind of scattered. Okay, so we're going to get our Dura block just like this. Okay, because this is where hand sanding comes in. Well, that's, that's organization, Pete. I love that. That's okay. a good crack there, We're man. gonna go ahead and get that right there. Okay, you see what I got? We got 36. Now, we don't wanna get radical. This is where our hand sand comes. Come on, before our bondo dries too hard. 
And then you can see right there, see that line? See that line right there that I created? Yes. So we're gonna go like this. Now you gotta make sure you're using your, uh, you understand, at the same angle. Right. So we're just gonna get that top angle. We're not gonna sand here, we're just sanding on that. So when it works down to the tape, that's when you need to kind of That's quit. when you stop. You might go just a little farther. Right. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna pull the tape off. Get the fuck out of the way, Limpy. Okay. All right. And we gotta go back and do this several times, all right? We gotta do this, you know, this is just roughing it in. We're gonna go back and do it two or three times. When we get done, it'll look like factory, believe me. This is just, I'm just showing you the basics here. And then when you shut the door, look what we got, okay? All right, it's a little bit high still, all right? So I'm gonna take my block. Now I'm gonna do it by hand. And as I'm doing it, I'm pushing it up, see? See what I'm doing? I'm trying to get that line there. Then I'm gonna come over here. It's not four inch Bondo, it's thin Bondo. Okay. Um, no, I am not a fucking Bondo guy. He's not right? a Bondo mud person, man. And I'm not gonna sit here and explain to people all this. They're slandering you know, you. If you wanna slander me about it, you know, that's fine. I don't see your videos, bitch. Am I right? You're right. Okay. Anyway, fuck all that. I don't care about that. Okay, so what we've done, we have now roughed it in. I got to come back. I'm going to let this dry real good. It looks like this gap's a little bit bigger, so I'll add a little bit more Bondo there. And then once we're done with that, we will have a nice, clean, even what? Line. Door what? jam. Door jam. All right. We're going to have to get a little thick right here. But it doesn't matter. It's going to work out really, really well when we're done. I want to show you the Oldsmobile. I had to do this to the Oldsmobile. Let's go look at it. I'm going to show you what it's looking like. And then we're going to have to say bye-bye for today. Over here, Lamp. Let's go. Bring it on over, bud. Come on in here, bud. It's dark in here. I'm afraid of the dark. OK, Pete. come on over here. I want everybody to look at this door jam here. Ooh, we, we had a big problem with this door jam um, by the way the door skin and door fit on, but let's go ahead and open that. And I did basically the same thing. Go ahead and look inside there. You can see I got a little bit, I got some spots that I got to clean up. But you can see that when I shut the door, back it up, back it up. You can see that it looks really good. Come on over here. Okay, look at the butt. Over here at the angle. Limpy, give me my fucking camera. Yeah, give me the camera. Okay, give it to me. Because I suck. Because we're getting ready. We've got a bad connection. Anyway, you can see it's a really nice action. And that's the way that you do it. Hold in there, Limpy. It wouldn't be the same without Pete's hollering. <laughs> well, I already okay. know. Okay, bud. <laughs> Come on, bud. Fine. Turn that light off. Shut the fucking doors, guy. Okay, we're getting bad connections all over my shop. Let me tell you all something. Uh, don't buy one of them Wi-Fi uh, extenders. They suck. They're a fucking joke and they suck. But this is Pete. We got to go. That's basically the beginnings of fixing your door jams. I found it. That's basically the beginning of fixing your door jams. That's how you do it. Practice makes perfect. And if you're watching this video, that means you want to learn how to do it right. Because positive attitudes will get you everywhere in life. If you're going to give up on something and you're going to you're going to get frustrated and you're going to take it out on yourself and say I'm a fucking loser and I'm I'm a whiner and wah 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 and I can't do it, then you ain't fucking trying hard enough. All right, get off your fucking ass, get out there and do something. Dig a fucking garden, uh, clean your toilet bowl, do something to be creative and to make yourself useful in this big world that we live in. Because nobody's going to do it for you, pal. Nobody. Am I right or wrong? You're right, 100%. Okay. All right, buddy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Peace! Okay. Yeah, sure thing, Limpy. We're gonna walk outside while we put our uh, camera down, our phone, and see what Steve's up to. He's still working out here. Okay, let's see. What's going on, Steve? How are we looking over here? Good. You gotta talk loud, buddy. What's up? Reloading the pot here. Okay, so we're loading. What kind of sand are you using? What is this shit? This is crushed glass. Crushed glass? Yes. So it's not sand? Not sand. Okay, it's it looks sand. like sand, but it's not. But you can't eat it. Okay, I said that must be what smells, bud. <laughs> smells like a pig farm over here, Steve. <laughs> Does your wife get mad at you when you go home every night, filthy dirty? She gets mad at me 
got used to it. Okay, bro, I'm going to let you get back to work. We'll talk to you later. All right. All right, buddy, let's get these cars done today, bro. Okay. All right, we got to go. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I hope everybody liked this bonus pack special. Two live videos in a row this week, and, uh, yeah, getting shit done. Look at this fucking guy, huh? Filthy fucking dirty, and he's not complaining. Smells like a filthy pig, but you know what? The cocksucker's still moving, and he's doing his fucking job because he's not a quitter. And that's what I'm trying to tell everybody out there. Get her done. Do it right. I don't give a fuck how filthy the job is or how hard it is. You got to finish what you start. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Don't forget to watch Rocker Pat. We got Rocker Pat out there from Houston. He's one of my good buddies working his ass off down there. Get over to SWRNC, YouTube channel SWRNC, and watch the videos of that beautiful Chevy truck that he's building. And uh, if you like rock and roll, he's gonna sing you a tune that you won't believe, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say what Rocker Pat says. Rock on, baby. Rock on. Rock on. Rocker Pete out. Rocker Pete right here. Kicking ass, taking names, getting it fucking done. And watching everybody else in the world do it too. Right there. We'll see you later, guys. We'll see you later.